Now, these are mushroom here. Dogs are all with me, or three of the dogs are with me. These mushrooms here, you can see if I stand back, are in a kind of line. They creep in like that. And they creep in towards that horse chestnut tree. So basically, the root of the horse chestnut there, underneath the ground, is supplying the food to the mushroom flowers or the fungal flowers which mushrooms are. And there is the horse chestnut tree. It's got uh, buds in it. Here you can see there's the sticky bud for next year. But it then also has sections of the branch that are very dead. So like this whole branch here, uh, I could break and there you go, because it's dead. But here you can see it's still alive. It's got, uh, we'll probably have a few years left producing few, it could be two, it could be 10, it could be 20. But that basically, that line of mushrooms is following towards the tree and that's its root, big girl, following the line of the root all the way to this tree. It's a big, huge, magnificent horse chestnut tree, probably pl planted by my great, 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 great grandfather. I think it was four greats, could be five greats. But you can see there is that trail of mushrooms that signify the slow death of this horse chestnut tree. Could take a number of years or it could take a few years. But that's the first one of the first signs. They're magnificent looking mushrooms. They're huge. There's also other insect life that are living off of these mushrooms. You can see where they're being eaten there by other insect life. So that is one of the recycle, fungal recycle stories to do with a single horse chestnut tree. Improving soil life with mycorrhizal life of digesting a dying tree.